Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this is um, another journal using the collaboration kit between Artie Mays and Tracy Fox um, and it's called Nature's Remedies so it is a beautiful kit I will link both ladies below, um, both their Etsy's because like I said it was a collaboration so both ladies have got, I think it's 21 pages in each kit so that's 42 pages if you buy both the kits and you can I mean you can do so much with these kits there's it is a it's a very big kit and it's very lovely so I enjoyed doing the one that I made the other day and I thought right I'm going to do another one and I'm planning on making a big oops I've just rolled the camera making a big fat chunky one um as well obviously with lots of signatures hardcover that's in my on my little notes of things that i want to do with that kit so anyway this journal i haven't written any details down about this whatsoever um i started this last week and then gave up for the weekend and just chilled out uh so this measures eight and a quarter by five inches has one signature don't know how many pages but this will be listed in my shop for sale and all the details will be on there it's probably about 60 odd pages give or take um anyway i've used a cardstock um it's brown with these little line dots um there's coffee dyed cardstock sewn into the back as normal i've done some vintage music paper sewn onto cardstock this image is one of the journaling cards from the kit um i've put the word remember on there and then i've just recently like in the last hour or two uploaded a let's make on how i made these little embellishments so i popped one of them on there um you can see there's stitching there's some crocheted trim eyelets and string as a closure and let's go inside so <clears throat> the inside covers are just plain coffee dyed papers i find sometimes because i've got a few journals that i work in myself and when i've got pockets in them um and then i'm writing it can all get a little bit kind of lumpy and bumpy and I, i'm just not keen on that but that's my personal preference um <clears throat> so um one of the pages from the kit now i cannot tell you which papers came from Artie Mays and which one came from um, Tracy Fox. So that's why you really need to buy both of them um, because they are they just they just fit together, um, you know, like a puzzle. Um, anyway, uh, honestly, like I say, I don't know who that's from, but it's a lovely page. <laughs> um, we've got a pocket here. This was one of the pages that um, I printed off and I kind of break the pages down and make pockets with them. It's been sewn onto some cardstock, so it's a nice thick um, pocket, done some stamping. Here we've got um, a tag from the kit. And like I said, the both ladies have got the tags and stuff, obviously different tags. Oh, that won't go in. Why is that? There we go. Um, and the, they've all been backed onto a tea or coffee dyed paper. Got some crocheted trim. Journaling card from the kit. Again, that's been backed onto tea or coffee dyed paper. Then, what, like I said, one of the pages, um, I think I printed that one off twice. I chopped all that down and made little tags with. So there's more than one thing you can do with the pages. We've got a doily, some uh, vintage music paper. It's a printable. And then one of the little stamps from the kit. Just making sure I'm in frame here. I just cut out and just glued that on there. This is one of the envelopes which I've used as a pocket, so it's kind of like a double pocket. So, and then one of the tags from the kits. This is from the old design shop. <clears throat> a little pocket from the kit. Again, one of the pages that I've chopped down and made tags with. And that's in there, and that is obviously from the kit. There's lots of journaling space and I've stamped a little ticket from the kit. One of the pages from the kit. I like the fact that it's got cheeky butterflies in there as well. <laughs> uh, again, one of the pages from the kit, just chopped it down, sewed it onto um, coffee dyed, or no, just cardstock, just to make a pocket. And it's nice and thick. Inside there we have journaling card from the kit. It's a double journaling card. Uh... That is from the kit. Everything's from the kit, really. Uh, another tag from the kit. More stamping. Lots of places to journal. Love this page. This is Dill. Here we've got a top loading pocket. Postcard from the kit. And another journaling card from the kit. A doily butterfly from the kit. 
here we have one of the long pockets and you get tags that fit inside there as well so obviously that's went in there i can't do that now <coughs> uh i'll go in he doesn't want to go in what am i doing wrong hang on ah there we go just fiddly um the old design shop stamping oops more pages there center of the signature like i said lots of places to journal little side pocket from the kit little envelope there's nothing in the envelope that goes in there the little book it's, it does say field notes on there it's a little bit it's well it's made to look really old and it's faded so it works well little booklet i made that into um that goes in there love the butterflies another butterfly there um doily again one of the pages um that i've just chopped down into pockets made that into a tag that's again chopped down from a page so i don't think that's actually a tag you'll you know if you've purchased the kit i know a lot of people have already purchased the kits um you can just chop the pages down and make tags with them as well a lovely another lovely tag there another little pocket here with two tags that one's chopped down from one of the pages and that's actually one of the little tags um little corner pocket here this is from the kit tags from the kit so like i said i will list both kits um, below so you can go over and take a look if you haven't already purchased it another little ticket there uh, another long pocket here with a tag and they've all just been backed onto um, like tea or coffee dyed paper why is it these ones won't go in there we go I like these long pockets um, I don't know they're just sweet they're good to add on to like a you know a side of a page another stamp from the kit uh, a doily again i just chopped that down to make a pocket and inside here we just have um, this is one of the embellishments from the kit another piece that i chopped down i didn't sew around that one so that's that another double journaling card um yep another double journaling card in here this is a pocket, um, well it's actually like a long envelope um, and I cut the top off because I was going to glue it onto one of the pages and then I thought well I've got too many of the other ones glued on so I've just left that kind of floating around um, in in there that you could you know put some notes and stuff like that inside there and then that is the back page. So that is the journal. Um, I do have a few pieces left over that I might um i might try and make some more tags with them uh because like i said i am going to make another one um i've noticed that um obviously go over and watch uh arty mays and um tracy fox because they're doing that like the collaboration things with the kit as well which is obviously it's really great to see what they do with their own kits as well um i know andrea um has done the trifold with one of the pages i do have one of them printed out i don't know if i can reach over and find it um i was trying to organize and it's just gone out the, out the window <laughs> with my paper uh my paper scraps um and tracy's done the same with her the the trifolds that you get in the kits because i think you get uh one piece in one kit and one piece in the other so like again that's why you need to buy two of the, the two kits um and andrea has i watched one of her videos yesterday where she was making tags up using little elements um from the kit so yeah that was good to see as well so like if you um i know most of you know artie mays and tracy fox um so you know go over and watch their videos as well and what they're doing with this kit and i've seen a few other ladies that have made um journals with this kit and they're absolutely beautiful it's lovely to see how differently we all work with the same kit how our minds work um so yeah like uh gina who is firefly 60 something um 
is it 67 i think it's 67 um she has she's done one as well i've watched hers and it's absolutely gorgeous so pop over and see that if you haven't already um right enough rambling because i'm rambling here um because i'm starting a new journal in a minute so i'll probably be back later like today tomorrow who knows uh with another journal video for you if you want to see um how i've made some of these little embellishments and things check out my playlist um i want to thank you all for watching um all for your like, all your lovely comments um to all my new subscribers because i've noticed i've got a lot a lot of new subscribers as well so thank you for joining me and thank you for everyone who's already been with me for a long long time i do really appreciate it um and yeah, so I'm going to go and I will be back soon. Bye.